Good morning, grade 6 students. How are you today? I hope you are fine. Welcome to a new English lesson. Let's start our lesson by listening to our school vision. The school vision to prepare creative, well-educated students who are able to establish civilized, aware, reserved society, stick to the authentic morals and values, in addition to using the modern technology. Our value for this week is honesty. So always try to be honest. Our objectives for today are recall the presented vocabulary and the structures in Unit 7. Number two, select the correct time preposition. Locate specific details to determine some sentences if you if they are true. Module, Module seven. 7. Round, Round up. up. One. One. Listen, Listen and tick, and the, tick correct the correct picture. picture. British, Museum. British Museum, good morning. Good morning. How, can How can I help you? you? Hello. Hello, I want to, I want visit, to visit the museum, museum. And, I'd like and I'd like some information. information. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. What would you like to know? First, I would like to know how we can get there. The best way is by underground. Are you near an underground station? Yes, we are. OK, then. Take Piccadilly Line and get off at Russell Square Station. The museum is near Russell Square. Great, thank you. How much do tickets cost? The entrance to the museum is free. However, there are two exhibitions on at the moment which aren't free to everyone. They are the Art in Ancient Greece exhibition and the Ancient Sicily exhibition. Are you under 16? Yes, I am. OK, so they are free for you. Great, but how much is the ticket for adults? My mum is going to come with me too. Tickets for the Art in Ancient Greece exhibition cost £17, and tickets for the Ancient Sicily exhibition cost £10. Sorry? 70 for the Art in Ancient Greece exhibition? No, no, £17. Oh, OK. And one last question. What time does the museum close? We are open every day from 10 o'clock in the morning to half past five, and half past eight on Fridays. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you very much for your help. You're welcome. You're welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now let's check the answer together. Number one, the correct answer is letter B. Number two, letter C. Number three, also C. Now let's recall some uh, vocabulary. Sculpture, sculpture, look, what is this? It's scissors. Market. Architect, architect. Museum Gift Shop Station Now, open your student book page 90, activity 2. Read and match the items, occupations, and places. A to G to the information 1 to 7. Then, ask and answer questions with your partner. Number 1. Someone designs building. 
this is of course the architect so the correct answer here is letter b now you can pause the video for a while to read and answer back again let's check the answer together place you see work artwork Letter E, museum, of course, where we can see artwork in the museum. Place, you buy souvenirs. Good job, letter F, gift shop. Place, buses and trains stop. Letter G, station. Place you can buy fresh fruits. Market. Person makes statues. Sculpture. Something you use to cut things. Scissors. Now, let's ask and answer. It's someone who designs building it's an architect. Is it an architect? Yes, it is. It's a place where you can see artwork. Is it a museum? Yes, it is. Now you can ask help for one of your family to help you in this conversation. Now let's go to the workbook, page 78, activity 3. Read and circle. A, B, C, or D. Germany works at the museum every day. Which one is correct? course from 9 to 5 good job now you can pause the video for a while to read and dance back again number two my cat sleeps for many hours the day during the day good job the castle closes 8 o'clock in the evening in the museum the castle closes 8 o'clock. Yes, here we have a specific time, so we are going to use after 8 o'clock. Number 4. Frank always starts work at 9 o'clock. The morning. The morning. We With the morning, we use in. Very good. Number 5. The ancient site is closed Mondays. Monday is uh, one day of the week, so we have to use on before days of the week. Let's read. Are you ready? Let's go. Now let's go to our work for page 79, activity 5. Read and answer. El Zubara Archaeological Site Just an hour away from Doha lie the ruins of the port town of El Zubara. It was the most important trading center of the Arabian Gulf area in the early 18th and 19th centuries. Merchants traveled to El Zubara to trade their products from places as far away as China and the UK. The original town had a large port, a fort, a palace, beautiful mosques, and houses with large courtyards which were home to about 10,000 people. Many of the residents were fishermen and pearl divers. All of the people left the town in 1811, and the desert sands covered it almost completely. In 2013, UNESCO named the area a World Heritage Site, the first ever in Qatar. 
Today, archaeologists and researchers are carefully trying to return the town to its past glory, as it is a symbol of Qatar's past and its cultural heritage. Now, what is the text mainly about the job about Al Zubara after archaeologist archaeological site? What does the shaded word residence mean? A visitors? the neighbors or people who lived in the town. Let's go back again to the word residence. Yeah. Many of the residents were fishermen and pearl divers. So can you give a meaning of the word residence? Resident? Of course. People who live in uh, the town. So residence mean People who lived in the town. Al Zubara. Now, you can pause the video for a while to read and answer the following question. Now, let's read again and write T for true and F for false. Al Zubara is a modern town in Doha. False. Many fishermen and the pearl divers lived in Al Zubara. True. People from many countries traveled to Al Zubara. True. UNESCO made Al Zubara a World Heritage Site in the 19th century. That's false. Here we have reached to the closure part. You find this activity in your workbook, pages 79, activity 4, complete with who, where, or which. Number one, John Luigi Bird is one of the men that invented the TV. Of course, when we see the word men or someone or man, we use the relative pronoun who. You can uh, read and complete, and we will go back again to check the answer together. Back again. Some flowers is a famous painting, Van Gogh painted, which, of course, because famous painting is an object. Here we have to use a relative pronoun, which. When the castle was that place, King Henry yeah, to live. Of course, where? The bicycle is the means of transport Carl de Reyes invented, which here we have reached to the end of our lesson today. I hope you are enjoying the video. Thank you. Don't forget to write the answer in your student book and workbook. See you next time.